good morning internet 9.37 in the morning we just wrapped up from the campsite and we will begin day 4 of Idaho BDR had a pretty good night of sleep now we just gotta stop at the store pick up some water and some food it looks like it's going to be another hot day it's 24 degrees already and those guys are creating dust first thing in the morning Oh, that first section is a uh, nice twisties. <laughs> begins we're back on gravel forestry trunks this stuff is slippery though Our bikes are down on the bottom. How are you getting there? Your water. 
water. You've got I think that they're not. There's like a rope. You, I think a pulley system. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about the toilet? What do you use? Just a... There's an outhouse there. Oh, there's an outhouse. Okay. That's why he's in a good shape. Because there can be lots of climbing. I should exercise today. <laughs> so we had a quick talk with the fire watcher guy. And we get quite a few information on that subject. He stays here for a whole week pretty much and night and watches for all the fires and thunderstorms at night and records everything, sends it over to different uh, resources. of washouts here. Let's continue. A little bit of water. It's 28 degrees here. And it looks like we got a little bit of clouds cover now because it was so freaking hot. Lots of climbing here. The steep, the, the, the hills, some of them, some of those hills are pretty steep and rocky and washouts. Uh, the, that's uh, that's what we call adventure riding, I guess. Get to sit on my butt for a little bit at sometimes, because uh, standing up uh, all the time, and whenever I get an opportunity like, like this, nice to relax and get a little bit of breeze. 166 miles to go on this section here. But uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make it in uh, one day, basically. Because the average travel speed here 
is uh, I would say between 25-30 miles per hour, sometimes even slower on those big climbs. So yeah, you gotta, and we work uh, and we started uh, actually a little bit of a little bit late today. Uh, wanted to sl the guys wanted to sleep in a bit, and uh, last night we were staying with the campfire till about 11 p.m. or even later. 4.3 miles to Lilo Trail from this point. Another burned forest. Wow, there's a lot of burn areas. No wonder that guy is sitting on the tower and watching for fires. It must happen here quite often. But what a life to be all there by yourself for such a long time. At least he's reading books. That's his entertainment because the, there is no cell phone signal up here. Something to keep in mind as well. Uh, on those long rides, good to have some kind of a safety source. Like we use uh, Garmin and Spot in Garmin in reach and spot but that's still I'm not sure if anything would happen here how how do you get rescued out of here or if you have a major trouble with your motorcycle at such a high elevation and uh, yeah you even if somebody can make it up here that's gonna cost a fortune We just took a side uh, drag, quarter mile of the main uh, BDR route to Rocky Ridge Lake. Okay, there we are. I think this is it. That could be it. Do you see the lake? Where? Oh, right here. That's a Rocky Ridge Lake. Perfect campground location if you just passing through just before uh, Lilo Pass Trail uh, or Lolo Pass, just before Lolo Pass Trail, a uh, quarter mile down off road. Uh, if you're on the route and uh, you want to find a place to camp, this is it. Uh, there's picnic tables, a couple of them, and bar uh, fire pits. So I think it's a, it would be perfect spot to camp out. Uh, just a uh, little bit too early for us today to, to do that. What am I gonna do? I, I wet my t shirt. I should have wear my old one instead of making this one dirty. So there is the picnic tables. There's one right here. And a campground, we got even a little bit of shade here and there. And the other one is just on top here. There it is, right there. That's the second picnic table. And there's another one, third one. So there's a few of them. And I just get bitten by the horse fly. And it's getting rocky here too. All right. Very rocky.
gets rough. Climbing, climbing. Holy moly, how steep is that? trees down and somebody is maintaining this road because everything is cut. And this uh, other riders are doing riding with chainsaw but I have a feeling it could be the forest uh, forestry operation that uh, they maintain it because they need to get into places in and out. That's my guess but I might be wrong. Holy trees here. So many. 18 more miles to Lolo Trail. That's uh, quite far actually. Lolo Pass, maybe maybe there's a section of it that's called Lolo Pass. I'm not sure. But uh, GPS says Lolo Trail. Bogdan będziemy się zatrzymywać. W cieniu byłoby dobrze, ja za drugie drzewo wiadę. Ja. All this riding and to admire this scenery right here. It looks quite spectacular. How high we are. Jesus Christ. What a view. No wonder we were climbing all the time for so many hours. And I don't think this is the end of it yet. I don't think so. Quite stunning. And the clarity of the air is pretty good too. So that's a bonus. No, not too much of a haze. Tie it up. They have them on the gas stations and stuff. Wagush, the view is awesome, eh? Another tower right there. Well, if we're gonna drive through there or ride right through there.
want to follow us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. We're on YouTube, Instagram. Nice. I don't know if it's part of the BDR. I it is. If it is, then most likely it we will. That, that road today, I love it. <laughs> 